Hello, I am Nathan and this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, this is my first video in a little while. I kind of moved house and I've been busy and what with work and doing that I've still got lots of boxes in here that I need to unpack. This is my first true day off in the two and a bit weeks since I've moved. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I, I bought this game a couple of weeks ago, it's on PC. And I don't like Assassin's Creed. I liked one, I liked two, and Brotherhood. I kind of hated the rest. I've actually played all of them apart from Unity. Um, I don't like Black Flag, uh, which everyone says, or at least a lot of people say is the best. Right, let's actually do something here. <clears throat> it was the best in a long time, but I found it clunky and boring and not very good. But I've been really liking this. I was tempted purely because of the setting, cause it's London. City I know very well, I used to live there. And I, I really like this game. I kind of find it annoying how much I like it. Well, not annoying, it's a good thing, but unusual. Now, I'm just in the middle of a mission here. There's been Ch Charles Dickens, of course, invites you to join this kind of ghost investigation club. Can I assassinate this guy? Oh, not this person. For God's sake. But, uh, this guy's been hypnotizing people to commit crimes. Give him the profits. Oh, oh really? Right. Good. Got away with that one. Person just right there. Uh, bah, 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 bah. So I've located him, have to kidnap him and take him back to the police station to prove my innocence. I'm just gonna. Uh, that wasn't a very good assassination. I mean, it wasn't really an assassination. I just. I was going to jump in through the window upstairs, but then I remembered that you've got to take him down all the way. I did this mission once before, and I got to the police station, and then the police just attacked me, and then the guy escaped, and I died. <laughs> and then it started me from back here, which is a little annoying. But, I can whiz through this. Well, <laughs> I will try to. I'm about, well, on the menu it says I'm about 14% uh, of... No, you didn't see me. Yes, you did. It says I'm about 14% through the game. Um, I don't know how accurate that is. I'm not doing an awful lot of the side missions. Uh, I'm going to get off these stairs. No, I'm not. <laughs> I did this bit the first time around with complete... I didn't get detected once. I just assassinated everyone. It was all good. Right. Oh, I earned a skill point. So, things that I like about this game, it feels a lot smoother than previous Assassin's Creed games. It's a lot easier to traverse the place you don't, when you're going from ledge to ledge, you don't end up somewhere completely different than you intended the vast majority of the time anyway. Um... So what should I do? That's going to be very handy. Oh, I've already got one point. Never mind. Anyone else on this floor? Yeah, I found movement a lot more natural, better implemented, better. Um, oh, it remembers I've opened that chest. Uh, the city of London is absolutely gorgeous. I like finding bits that I know and just being able to traverse there. The missions have been relatively interesting. There's not so much of the tedious kind of track this person. And in the rare times that I have done that, it's been... Right. So. I need to walk him down these stairs. Luckily, I've taken care of all of the henchmen. Henchmen? Guards? Whatever. And I've got to stuff him in a carriage and drive him to the station. Right. 
Right. Now, when I did this before, the roads were so congested it was actually quite difficult. Which I think was ultimately what caused me to bump into someone in the police to attack me. Right. Driving is one of my least favourite parts of this game. I don't dislike it, I just prefer traversing by foot. And I'll show a few things that makes travelling quite fun. But... Uh, I mean, this is alright, it's just a bit... I don't know. Oh, I think we're coming up to Trafalgar Square. So I'm yet to kind of go on a little walk to see, it, you know, how well I can traverse for my knowledge of London. So I could do a kind of a cycle from Trafalgar Square. And of course, we've got Leicester Square over in that direction. Ah, no, no. Also, I don't know how reversing this works. But, um, yeah, so I've got Trafalgar Square. Photographed many times here. Um, so, that'll be heading down that way to Westminster. So you can see Big Ben, I think, in the distance. Oh yeah, this is another thing. This is what confused me. I think I need to go this way. Because it just takes you down a really narrow alley. No, but I can't drive down there. Right. Turn around. I mean, it's Assassin's Creed. It's going to tell you exactly where to go rather than that, isn't it? Right. Let's... <laughs> Oh, I know what I should do. This would be better. I can just... Oh, there's people here. Right. Get out there. Go... But, but... No, do both of them. For God's sake. He better not get out of the carriage. Ah! Someone's shooting me. Right, just come on, right. Right, now I'm going <laughs> to... Escape for a little bit. Just until I'm going to keep an eye on that cart. I become anonymous, and then I can walk him in. <laughs> this is a, a wonderfully <laughs> bungled job, right? Am I anonymous yet? I think I am. Sure, I'll just jump off that building. That's not going to hurt at all, right? I don't want him in the. Uh. Right, come on. So you need to press A occasionally. See? Now, look. Right. But the police is just going to attack me, and then he's going to get away. I don't want to... Right. Is he going to run away now? No, he's just being very obedient. This is the first mission in the game that I've had issues like this. <laughs> Usually he's been absolutely fine. I don't want to kill any police. Right. Oh, oh, no. Where are you going? There's still no... There we go. Why? Why? Did the police not let me... Oh, for God's sake. I don't want to... This is dumb. Where's the... Oh, he's gone, isn't he? For God's sake. Right. Ugh. I mean, it was nice of him to wait, hang around for so long, but... <laughs> I don't know if this is... Ugh. I'm not going to catch up to him if I carry on like this. No, that. Oh, it's going to fail me, isn't it? Ah. Uh. 
Right. So, that was not a very good example. Although, I, d I don't know how to do that, because that's the same thing happened the last time, that I just... I went to the police station, and as soon as I was about to walk him in, they just attacked me. I didn't escape the last time, but... I just took on all the police and then ultimately died, because they kept shooting me. Which wasn't very nice. I'm trying to do them a favour, bringing the bad guy. Right, it's going to spawn me back outside the house, isn't it? Yep. Right. Uh, I'm just going to give up on that. So let's have a look. Got the map here. All the zones that aren't red are ones that have cleared out from gang influence. Um, I'm going to... Yep, so where am I? I've can't remember since I moved. Right, I'm over here. Let's have a look. I'm going to head down towards here. So you are given the full map when you start. Now the towers that you have to climb to unveil all that nonsense. It doesn't unveil the map, it just unveils activities, which is a much better way to do it, I think. Because in every goddamn Ubisoft game you're having to climb towers. Right. Oh, it better not make me start Oh, God. Ugh. I think I'm going to have to do this mission. I actually really like this game. I've been enjoying it a lot. This is uh, an unfortunate <laughs> um, recording of my ex overall experience with the game. Uh, you can swap characters as well. You've got Evie and Jacob Fry as the protagonists. I tend to use Eevee because Jacob's a bit of a twat. <laughs> oh, got to use Eevee here anyway. Let's see if I can... What I'd really like is to be able to... How many... Oh. Yeah, he hypnotizes you, makes you do silly things. Okay. For fuck's sake. Right. I'm going to have to walk him out of here, so I'm just going to... So, another thing that has occurred in the time since I last put a video up. I can't even remember what that video was now. Hmm. Might have been Fallout? Environmental Station Alpha? Not sure. Uh, but I bought a PS4. Um, so once I figure out how to do videos on that, I might... I will be uploading some of them. Uh, I don't have a huge range of games at the moment. I've got Destiny and The Last of Us. Ah, uh, as well as um, Ho Hokum, Journey, Flower, Flow, uh, King's Quest, and Gauntlet. And I'll be buying Tearaway probably quite soon. So I'm not sure if I have to have to use a get capture card with that, or whether I can use the share function, stream it out somewhere, then use that recording. But I'll figure it out at some point. I only got the PS4 a few days ago. Right, someone up there. Right, I'm going to do it this time. I can't be bothered not to. <laughs> Hello. Oh, another one. Okay. I don't... I'm going to just drive up. I'm not going to get out the car... Hopefully, I can kidnap him and then throw the knife at him without... Nope. I don't think that guy cares anyway, he's just like, yeah, whatever.
Right. This, yeah, the kidnapping in this game has so far been my least favourite. I tend to just skip any kind of opportunity I see where you're going to have to do that. I think there will be a few if I want to clear the map, which, if I'm honest, I probably will. Um, I don't know, it's a weird one, but I've been really enjoying this. Well, I've been playing pretty much exclusively indie games for the last couple of years. So, you know, it makes a nice change of pace once in a while. So we've been playing this, Fallout 4, Destiny things. Um, this is probably my favourite out of those three. Fallout 4, I'm a little underwhelmed with. It's good. But it's all too familiar with, and the biggest part, new part, is the building part, which I, I'm not a fan of anyway. Right. Got that. Uh, nope. <laughs> that reminds me of Dr. Parnassus the vehicle he's got in that right I'm just going to follow this line I'm just going to drive straight up I'm not going to get out I'm just going to go there and hopefully a cutscene will take over I'll complete this fucking mission and then I can demonstrate some cool parts of just wandering around adventuring in this game it'd be nice to show off some night time in this because it's absolutely beautiful but it seems to only happen with missions and then once you complete the mission you can right right reach there all I've got to do is go there come on better work this time otherwise I'm stopping this video and doing something else Um oh sure excellent oh thank fuck for that did I get any re special rewards no there weren't any right that's done I'm gonna jump out this window so things I like if I just hold down B forwards and R R2 right trigger even you can just it just climbs you down um, or kind of automatically well that's obviously simplified from the way it used to be I think it's in Unity as well but not 100% it makes for traversing a lot easier and I find myself plummeting to my death from a building a lot less uh, which is great oh there seems to be a thief let's go tackle them I wonder if there's an Assassin's Creed game where you don't have this feature Right. Two hundred pounds. Right, here we are, so Trafalgar Square. So, another thing I like that's a new I think a new addition to this game is my little zip line. So press left bumper and it just brings you up. Now, it's not only used for verticality, you can use it to kind of go from one rooftop to another. And it can be very, very handy. Don't mind me. Right. I've synchronised already, but I just thought I should have a nice view of London. Let's see, that would be... Which park is that? I'm not sure. Oh, is that St James's Park? And then you would have the Mall over there as well. The Green Park there. you got Westminster. National Gallery. Where's St. Paul's? Be this way. There it is. Uh, of course, it's not, you know, completely like for like, but there's been some parts that are certainly very recognisable. Uh, I should probably go down there. Look, the bells of leaves everywhere, as always, conveniently placed. Um, I think I'm in the middle of nowhere here, so I can't use my grapple. Yeah, I'm just going to jump down. Another thing I really like about this game is the music. Um, Austin Wintry has done it, and he's done an incredible job. Um, I think previously to this, his most famous soundtrack was Journey. Um, I'll get in a fight in a minute, and we can listen to the music. It's just, it captures the, the time period very well. It's, it's kind of refreshing and new for an Assassin's Creed game in terms of what I've played before. 
because I used to like the um, Jasper Kid. Is it Jasper? Jasper? Oh. Hello. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, but he um. Oh, he didn't survive that. Yeah, this music. This music's amazing. Yep, yeah, so, whenever I see the left bumper appear on screen, you can use it to use the zip line. And then you can do it from roof to roof. If there are any roofs to do it from. It's going well. This whole, this whole video is going <laughs> a little poorly. Right, let's get to the Thames. Have a nice boost. You can ram as well because I don't know, of course you can. Right, there we are. That tree came down quickly. Man. Right, there we are. So, Westminster. Just deal with these two. So there's two gangs in London. These are the evil gang. I can't remember what they're called. And you form a new gang after you arrive in London with your brother Jacob. So basically, you just get all the people who are dressed in red. Right. I have some finishing moves like this one. Oh, someone. Oh, I think the police are after me now. Uh, I like chilling out on the Thames in this game. I find it a lot of fun. Stupid horse. Right, something will be here. Helix glitch. Illustrations. Let's go over here and do an active viewpoint. Because. Oh, I'm. I'm oh, I'm there. Let's do this one then. I want to see what mission I can do to clear out the um, enemy gang influence. Oh, 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 what kind of... That wasn't a very graceful dive in the slightest. Uh, so there's lots and lots of boats on the Thames. I like jumping from one to one. There's some cool... They weren't really missions, they are just things to do on moving boats where you have to jump from one to another. I enjoy it. Right, let's come up here. And of course you've still got conveniently placed floaty things so you can jump across. Um. Hello. <laughs> I've very nearly got run over by a boat there, I think. Right. Can I make it across? Go on, go up. Uh, Right, enemy boat, or a series of boats, so. I s haven't actually done this before, so I assume it's going to make this boat stop. Right, got a couple of people there. That just reminds me of the whistle from Binding of Isaac. Right, that was easy. Steal cargo. All right, hundred ninety-eight pounds. That's not the best I've had, but never mind. Oh, I've created a queue. Easy. <laughs> you go round. You got to go round. That coal. Very solid coal. Right. Let's head over to this way. Uh, thingy with Bob. <laughs> Come on. Can I just zip line up there? Yep. 
I mean, I remember however many years ago that the first Assassin's Creed came out. And it was all about precision in terms of climbing up, climbing down, whenever you had to get to a viewpoint, especially in two, you had to kind of figure out the exact way to move. And a lot of that is has just been completely streamlined now. But, come on, get... Oh. At this point, I'm in favour of that, just because it makes moving around the city so much easier, so much more fluid. And... I'll, you know, I'll go back and play Assassin's Creed 2 if I want to go for all that again. Boat raid. Let's do that. And then I will call it. Uh, oh, I don't know how to get across. Uh, let's go for a swim. Actually, you know, let's jump across a boat. I'll be... Oh. Probably because I'm. I'll be Jacob for a bit. So there's Jacob. Looks a bit like Jack the Ripper. Right. I haven't upgraded him at all, so he's got six skills points. Um, He's not very much. No. I'm attempting to shoot an empty gun mid combo, the gun will reload automatically. That'll be handy because I make that mistake all the time. Um, Let's do. Throwing knives stuns enemies for no stealth. Yeah, let's do that. I should have one more. Don't need health. Do that one. Right. Which way am I going? This way. Oh, I need to. Oh, I'm <laughs> way behind. I need to uh, make a move. Man. Cool, I'm, I'm just going to swim there. Go on, you can... Thank you. <laughs> sure. But I don't know which one's going to be the gang. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be that one, isn't it? Right, let's do this one. So the green people are my gang. Blues, please. Red enemies. I'll bring back the target alive. Good. It's kidnapping one because it went so easy, so easy, so well before. Right. Hat off, hood up. So dumb. Right. Simon Chase. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, I didn't do anything. Now they're all going to spot me. I didn't even... Oh, can I? I've got to... Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> that was dumb. Right, it's going to run away. Duck from the bullets. I don't know which one he is now. Oh. Right, that's handy. I got the... Oh. Just gonna knock him out so I can just do this a bit. <laughs> oh, I just. God damn it, didn't mean to do that. They're just gonna attack each other now. Oh, for. God damn it, I, I, I'm trying to... Right. Well, I accidentally stabbed Simon Chase, so now I'm just going to... deliver him somewhere. For fuck's sake. I've had none of these frustrations whilst playing this before. I've done nearly every mission without being spotted. To the point where I, you know... I feel like... It's an effective stealth game, albeit a relatively simple, simple one. All right, I wonder if, what they're going to say. 
Turn around. Uh, this um this could be going better. <laughs> Man. Which way am I going? I can't believe they actually let me finish that mission. Well, I did it. So, hopefully, there we go. So the red from that fades, and it's another area cleared out. Alright. That's Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I gave off a very poor showing of this game, I think, in those missions, but... I like this game a lot. It's not getting me back on board with the rest of the Assassin's Creed, but I think I'm going to see this one through to completion.